Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and you guys are quick to mention that I got this little Power Z adapter from my previous video on the Kali Linux install. Here is a comprehensive review on this little Power Z adapter. Now, this little guy was sent to me by Team Win. This is an eBay group that I deal with from time to time, and I'll leave a link in the description on where you could get this guy. So, what this guy is exactly, it is a voltage tester or voltage current tester. Now you guys know that I deal with a lot of SPCs and I needed something that could record data and also be able to test resistance and all. This guy basically delivers in all that front. Uh, as far as the connection goes, you have the USB-A, both male and female. On the bottom you have input of USB-C, a micro USB input, and then an output of USB-C. And then on the top, you have three buttons and also a micro USB for data to plug into your computer. Now that's important because they actually have software where it allows you to connect to this, update the firmware, and also record data to your PC. Not that you really need it, but it's nice to have. And also this little guy has internal storage so you could record data onto this guy as well. And that's the main feature that I like the most. So when you first power up this guy, you have the main screen. Everything runs at 50 FPS, so it's really fast. And you could see that it has the V bus, which is the voltage, the load, and then you also have the wattage. Now on the bottom, you're gonna see it's zero, zero. That's because uh, you have to start recording data before that starts to show up, like the milliamps per hour or the wattage, milliwatts per hour. On the next screen, you have your resistance. This is actually very important because if you got a cable that you don't even know it's busted, the resistance could tell you if it is or not. Now here I'm ha I have another test where I'm actually charging some Canon batteries. So if I have the longer cable installed, you see how it's thicker though? I'm able to provide 1.8 or 1.7 amps of power through this cable. But if I have a shorter cable and plugged it up, this cable, is the resistance is so high that I'm only able to deliver 0.7 amps or so. So that also tells that the shorter cable is not always the best. Moving on, you have, a, you could say it's oscilloscope. Is that, am I saying that correct? But it's not really because it only does voltage and amperage, but it does. It, it is able to record data pretty quickly and you're able to go through all the menus to do 100 frames, 50 or 10 frames or one frame um, and different channels if you want. The next menu is a voltage menu. I don't know if it's something you want to play around with. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that this guy also supports quick charge? Now in this menu itself, you could actually adjust the voltage from five volts to 9, 12, whatever you want. And if your device doesn't support it, you might accidentally blow it out. So I would kind of leave this menu out. But yeah, in this menu, you could play around with those settings. So if you do have something with quick charge and you want to drop it down to five volts instead, you could do it through here. The next menu, um, this is a weird sniffing protocol. I haven't really played around with this much. My assumption is that it could actually read the data that's crossing between the power Z adapter. I'm not really sure about this menu. Uh, I tried to play around with it, but I couldn't understand it much. So uh, I'm gonna leave it up to your guys' interpretation as far as what this menu does. It says power delivery test. Uh, it does have a sniff mode. Uh, I tried to plug something through it and I just couldn't understand. Maybe I needed to connect this to a computer, but their software is in Chinese, so I couldn't really understand it as well. Yeah, I'm Chinese, but characters are foreign to me. All right, so leading back to the main menu here, you actually could adjust the settings like brightness and memory and factory resets and stuff. So that's basically it. Now, um, what I'm using this guy for mainly is to run voltage test, amperage test, and to record data. Uh, why I want to record data is, um, in my particular case, say I have a Raspberry Pi Zero and I want to know how long it could run on a battery. This guy could tell me exactly how long it would take just by recording data. Yeah, I know there's math behind it and you could do that too, but yeah, it's, it's easier with this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you guys were asking about this guy. Like I said, the links are in the description below. If you guys have any questions about this or want me to test something else with it, uh, hit it up in the comments and I'll see what I could do to test it. Again, I do have a Discord channel up so you can reach me pretty quick on there and a forum just so it works a lot better than the comment system underneath. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, Hack till it hurts.